Hey, this is Richard from the Jam Space. So it was uh, just a couple of weeks ago that it was Black Friday. And of course I was thinking, oh, I gotta get some stuff. But I actually uh, also kind of needed some stuff. I broke my thumbnail, which I use for finger style guitar playing. And the nails, they take a really long time to grow. And I found this thumb. I think I broke it twice that I can remember recently. And so I used to I used to try and play with, with finger picks and they, they always kind of hurt my fingers and that's why I've tried playing with my nails. But the thumb pick, I've I've kind of had this idea that I could I could pick notes with it like a regular pick, or I could strum really, really hard like I would do with a with a hard millimeter thick pick maybe or something like that. But with your thumb, you can't play a guitar like that with your thumb pick. So the thumb pick that can kind of do both things. It can be like a flat pick and it can it can kind of do finger style thumb picking as well. Uh, I think I found two potential solutions to this problem. Uh, I ordered them. They both came in today. One of them is uh, from Black Mountain Picks out of Vancouver, BC. Um, and I got three of those in here. And then uh, I ordered off of Amazon and um, I got three of the, I think they're called the Bumblebee pick by uh, Fred Kelly picks. So let's check them both out. I'm, I kind of, I think I'm going to go with the Black, the Black Mountain, the Black Mountain first. I have a pull tab, but I just wanted to open it like that. Okay, I got a little brochure in here. Cole McBride, hey, yeah, so his story is, he, he's a former guitar teacher and I... I'm a guitar teacher, or maybe I'm a former guitar teacher. Haven't been teaching uh, since COVID, but um, yeah, he he kind of found that he had a problem finding a pick that was good for him and for his students. So I I think that's really cool. Let's look at the actual picks. Oh, there's a card. And so okay, they come on these dowels. I'm not. I don't know what that does. If that like protects it in shipping or something. Ooh, it's got the spring. It's got this spring in it. So the thing is like the picks that I would use before, they wouldn't really fit well. And there's lots of tricks you can do to resize them. But I have to say that goes on really nice without any like effort. <laughs> so I, I'm going to be very curious what this feels like when I'm using it. I, I do like... I like the look of it and like it's a, it's your sort of normal kind of like I don't know Jim Dunlop kind of a, a shape but apparently it's 1.5 millimeter I think so it's quite quite thick but you know to me it doesn't seem I, I like just from the look of it and the, and the feel of it with my fingers it's not as thick as that sounded to me when I was ordering it so I think that I think this bodes well for for the black metal pick. So I've got three of those. We'll set those aside. The video is not sponsored. I uh, I am gonna try and see if I can get some affiliate links going in the description though. Um. So now we're coming up to the Fred Kelly. And then this is just for Amazon, so no special magic in there or anything about. Company history or whatever. Uh, Fred Kelly picks Delrin Bumblebee Teardrop. I got the the large size, and I got them heavy, so 1.04 millimeters. I wasn't sure if I should get the large or the regular. I, I'm not like a large, <laughs> a large man. I don't have large thumbs or anything, but. I saw some people complaining that they were too small on the regulars, so yeah. Now that that's on, I have to say it doesn't it doesn't go on nice and easy like the the Black Mountain, but it's it's a similar kind of idea. It's the the pick on it is more I would say like the Jazz three picks. Uh, it's a teardrop shape. Uh, those are uh, little black picks. Those Jazz threes. But this this thing you can you can change the angle, so it's kind of neat. I worry that 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 might snap that that little piece there that's kind of holding the pick onto the yellow part. But of course that's why they get the bumblebee name because there's the yellow and the black. So you know this goes on pretty good. I think I'm glad that I have the large, um, and I feel like 
you pick the angle and it'll it'll hold it'll it should hold and i mean again if you're gonna pick like this and i'm kind of a guy that i have a habit of like i can i can you know hold the pick and move it around so i think you should be able to maybe if you're an experienced player you might be able to adjust the angle of the pick if you need to for a different different styles during your play but i think that's gonna hold pretty well and that's the worry i guess is that they'll fall off it's just gonna be a matter of which one's actually more comfortable during use this one has a much looser feel to it so that as long as it's it's tight enough to hold on but um loose enough that it's comfortable that's that's kind of the the prime thing that you're looking for so i guess that's that's it for the unboxing and we'll uh we'll get into playing with these things and uh See what we think of them. And of course I was thinking, oh, I gotta get some stuff. So here we go with the um, the Black Mountain thumb pick. And like I said, it goes on nice and easy. The thing is you cannot change the angle of the pick on your thumb because of this little thing here. Um, that kind of, the clasp on there. There's, there's no way to rotate. It's just kind of gonna go uh, perpendicular to your to the direction of your thumb. So you gotta be kind of keeping that in mind when you bring the, the pick down onto the strings. And I think it's fine, it's great for... Um... Doing that thumb picking kind of thing. You strum a little harder. You kind of the way that I turn my, I kind of I'm gonna have to like think about that. I sort of want the the pick to be at a different angle when I strum, and it's kind of something that I never really realized uh, until I tried it with this. Until I kind of looked a little closer at it. So instead of kind of hitting the strings on the on the uh, the point, I'm kind of hitting them more just off of the side, and that's really probably not something that you want to do. So I have to kind of think about that. But I gotta say, it really feels it really feels like a flat pick when you just kind of like hold it as if it was. And I've I've never really felt that before with any of the thumb picks I used before. Okay, so I'm back. I've got a guitar. Let's try out the Black Mountain pick here. And I was saying earlier that it's just the same size as, you know, a standard guitar pick, as you can see. There you go. And for comparison, the actual pick portion of the uh, Fred Kelly Bumblebee is, again, like I said, this Jim Dunlop jazz pick. For reference, I, I don't really think that it makes a big difference, but it might to you. So there we go. Let's just do something really simple. There you go, E major scale, and I flat picked it. Now I can, I'm gonna just play an E major chord. Let's do a little strumming with it. So it's it strums really good. say it feels good the thing is when you're strumming you, you you can't you can't change the angle that that you're holding the pick and that's 
that's okay, I guess, if you know it and you, you can adjust to that. I really like the way it feels. It doesn't hurt while I'm playing. I'd say it's pretty good. It's a pretty good thing. So um, we'll set that aside. Now we'll bring in the, the Bumblebee. And again, I got the large size. And you can see it takes me a little bit longer to put this one on. Let's, let's watch me. Here I go. I'm in, I'm in there. I feel like that spring, it just opens a little bit, makes it a little bit more customized. Whereas the bumblebee is just this molded, molded shape and you just have to kind of, I have to lift that, I have to lift that up just a little bit to get in there. And again, if I didn't get the large, I think I'd be really unhappy with this, this pick. So. But it plays. I guess we could do the flat picking E major scale again. I should have warmed up before I started, huh? I like to start the pick in there, but I think it kind of slowly, it slowly just moves out a little bit like that on, on me. And when it's out at its fullest, furthest away from the thumb, it's really, it's really quite, it's loose. And I guess some people like that for strumming or something, but of course like a regular flat pick, you can just control just by how, how much pressure you put on it. Right. So maybe they're, they're trying to kind of like, Sim simulate that a little bit but um, I never really had a problem strumming with the other one going to go back to the Black Mountain pick. I don't know, you know, they're, they both are pretty darn good. Gotta switch back. This is really a short little test, but I think I might be more of a fan of the black, the black mountain pick. Now that might be because I really prefer to use a standard sized pick. Maybe if you're a person who, who likes the smaller jazz picks, you might be more of the, the bumblebee man or a female. Um, 
but maybe also this this large uh maybe they need to make think about making an extra large or maybe i should have ordered it if that's something they do make and maybe i'd end up liking this one more but um i can feel it, it it's pressing into my skin a, a little bit and that's kind of what i didn't like about all the the other more uh, traditional thumb picks is that they're tight and then you got to boil them in water or heat them and then try to shape them to your finger and i don't know it just i don't like them and this one's not as uncomfortable as as most of those you'll find maybe at your local guitar shop but um and it does have this cool swivel to it so you can have a different angle but i think for comfort i think for comfort it's probably for me it's this black mountain thumb pick and i think if it's more comfortable i'm going to end up wearing it more and i think if i end up wearing it more i'm going to spend more time getting used to the feel of it and i'll just adjust you know my hand for the pick because it's just a, a, a minor shift of you know a very small amount that that is required to go okay so that's how i that's how i have adjusted my playing the longer you play the more times you you know you have to make small little adjustments as you go yeah, anyways, so I think they're both good products, and I think, um, you know, it's good that I have both. I'll, I'll probably try this one out more, and of course, this is like, I they just came in the mail. I've spent maybe like 20 minutes with, with uh, them, and so it's kind of a quick kind of thing to say, but I mean, it's a guitar pick. You know, they're both equally as good, but anyways, um, it's cool to try new things. So I said I was going to hopefully find links... Uh, uh, affiliate links if I can get some affiliate links set up I'll, I'll put them in the description but I guess until then I'll, I'll, I'll just have just the links to them for you to peruse so in conclusion I want to say that both of these products are amazing they address the shortcomings of standard thumb picks absolutely uh, the black mountain thumb pick is more of a one-size-fits-all it accommodates medium large and extra large thumbs uh, they also make them for left-handed players, uh, which you'll see me trying this on later on my left hand thumb. It's not the way to go. Get the right one. Uh, they do also now offer a medium gauge pick as well, in addition to the heavy gauge one that I demonstrated in this video. The tapered thumb ring for the heavy gauge is red as pictured here, and the thumb ring is actually a, a gray color for their medium gauge pick. So if you did purchase both, you wouldn't get the two confused. Uh, so that's good news. Um, you can visit blackmountainpicks.com for more info. I recommend these picks for beginner finger style players. Uh, the fit and comfort is A+. You may prefer the medium ga gauge if you're just beginning and you don't have as much control over your, your strumming. Uh, but anyways, the one size fits all makes it easy to, to order. Um, and the spring is what accommodates that. Now onto this Fred Kelly Bumblebee pick. It, it is really, really a cool pick that offers a lot of customizability. Uh, they have light, medium, heavy, and extra heavy gauges, so you have more options for your pick thickness. Um, and they do actually offer a standard teardrop, regular sized uh, version not the jazz one that I demonstrated in here, but a, a full-sized pick. And I will talk about that more later. I actually got the wrong picks in, in the package that I, that I ordered. Um, I had intended for the full size. But anyhow, uh, regarding the pick size, the thumb size, and the pick gauge thicknesses that you have to choose from, and the fact that there is the adjustable angle, I like it forward towards the thumbnail a little bit. Um, I do recommend, because there's all these options and choices, I recommend this for professional players that really know what they're looking for. So, um, you know, that way you're, you're not going to get the wrong one by mistake. Uh, the, now, here's the, here's the packaging. This is where I want you to be careful. If you go to Amazon.ca uh, and purchase it like I did, you're going to see uh, the Delrin Bumblebee Teardrop Pick. Now, the, the model number is on the back of this, so I'll show you that. And you'll see it's D5TB. T stands for teardrop. So I actually wanted the, the D5TBH3, but inside of the package was actually the D5JBH3. So one letter difference. You can see how easy it is to make that mistake. They put the jazz ones in. They must have grabbed the wrong labels. I, I could see, you know, anyways, fredkellypicks.com, Grayling, Michigan. They do fantastic stuff there. Here's your standard sized 
pick that I was hoping to get with the D5TB. Um, and you can see I, I've got a little more surface area underneath my thumb when I hold it. And that's what I like for when I'm doing my really heavy strumming. Um, and then here's a, just a shot of, I do have a couple of these jazz picks uh, around. And I like them sometimes, maybe for different applications, but they're not my go-to. And so just to kind of bring it all home, I'll show you the, the actual pick that was packaged in there. This is the, the J for sure, definitely the jazz size. And uh, pardon me, I'm putting it on the wrong hand here, but let's just show you compared to your, your standard teardrop size and then beside the uh, jazz pick if we put it there. So you're going to want to be careful. You, you know, maybe it's better if you order it from fredkellypicks.com. But I'll let the company know because I really would have rather tried the, um, the the teardrop size. Anyways, both fantastic companies. Check them out at either fredkellypicks.com or blackmountainpicks.com. And don't be afraid to use my Amazon links if they get that stuff sorted out in future. Uh, thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Hope this was of help. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff. We'll see you next time.